Alrighty hosses, welcome back. And in the last video, we set up our store. And right now, we only have a little bit of data stored in there, which is three users, me, Joby, and Maddie. So the next thing we have to do is we need to figure out how to take this store and pass the data along to our components. So it would, it would probably be a good idea to make some components if I'm gonna teach that. So I'm gonna make a new directory right inside JS. And I'm just gonna name this components. So let's go ahead and the first component I'm gonna make in this video is just the app component. Now sometimes I name this a layout because this component isn't really gonna have any brains or do anything really smart. It's just gonna kind of lay out my other components. So, well, I actually don't wanna name it layout because it's not really convention. Most people just name app. So while I'm teaching, I might as well stick to convention. But again, that's all this component's gonna be. And of course, we need to import React since that's kinda the tutorial and all right. So since we really don't need any brains or any kind of fancy functionality, what I can do is actually just use the shorthand version and I'll say const app and just set this equal to fat arrow. All right, so if you guys never saw this syntax before, this is a cool new syntax that we got with ES6 for people who were too lazy to write the word function. Basically this is any parameters that you want to throw in in the function body goes in between here. So all we're doing, remember, all a component is, is just a function that returns some HTML, just part of your website. So in this component, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all my other components and stick them right in there. And again, like I said, that's what we're gonna be doing eventually, but for right now, um, I'll just stick some placeholder components. So, this application, like I said, is gonna be a list of usernames on top, and then you click one of the usernames and it displays their profile or more detailed information on bottom. So on top, I'll just say this is where the user uh, name list is gonna go. And then under that, actually let me make a horizontal rule, which is just gonna be like a line across. And then I'll have another heading and I'll say like a user details. All right, so we got our basic component made and now whenever we include this in another part of our application, we actually need to say that this is the part that we wanna export. So I'm just gonna say export default app. And there you go. Now one last thing I actually wanna do right here is you see this SCSS file? Whenever you use this styling, you actually need to specify where you wanna put it. So if you just put it in your main layout, then you're gonna be able to use it in any component. So in order to do that, all you do is hit require. Why is nothing popping up here? All right, well, require nothing. All right, so what I'm gonna do is require, and how do I get here? Go up to, all right. So it's in SCSS and it's called style.scss. So basically we're taking this file and by the way, we're just gonna be able to kind of use it like normal since it's already gonna be converted by my uh, build tool. And we're just gonna be able to use our styling anywhere throughout our application. Pretty sweet, eh? So now that we got this component built and taken care of, let's go ahead and hop back into our main let me minimize this so it's easier to see where I am. Our main index.js file. And all right. So the point of this video was to figure out how to take our store and pass it to our main application and therefore all of our components. So how do we do that? Well, let me look at this diagram again. We basically need to do something like make a provider. And the provider makes the store or all of your data available to all containers, which are, just think of them like components for now. All right, so how the heck do we make a provider? Well, in order to do that, you need to just go ahead and import. And by the way, this is the easiest thing ever. It's almost too easy to be honest. You just import provider from react redux. All right, so in react redux, 
there's an object called provider and all you do is you take this object and actually it's probably just easier if I do it all right so check this out first what we obviously want to do is we want to take this component and display it in our application so to do that we need to go ahead and import app from components app I actually want to name that lowercase so refractor rename app I like having my files lowercase all right so anytime we want to use this app all we have to do easy stuff you guys have seen this before is just include it right here so what this is going to do is it's going to take this component and render it in our target root and it's not displaying because what is wrong with my reducer I think I got a feeling all right so yeah that's what happens when you don't export it so I'll say export default all so again even though we included this file right here whenever we include it we need to say what we're sending out from it so we made this but then we didn't write export so we weren't actually piping it out so there you go remember to do that and now that we have that taken care of we can kind of fix all of our bugs recompile boom there you go so again we made this app component which doesn't do anything really smart yet and we said include this and render it as root but right now we have the store which is our storage for all of our applications data and we have the separate component they aren't really connected anyhow now remember that i said in order to take all of your storage and kind of pipe them to your components you need a provider so how do you use this thing called a provider well check this out cut your main component right here and you see this provider object that we just imported that is actually maybe it'll be easier if I break this up in a couple lines that is your new root component so inside here just go ahead and throw in your app and now this is how you actually set this up using react redux but there's one other thing like 10 more characters we have to type and that's this you need to make a property called store and set this equal to whatever this store is right here so again that's all you have to do to use your provider and if you look the provider makes your store all your applications data available to whatever is inside which is your entire application now whenever we make any other components since we're going to be sticking them inside here essentially what we're doing is we're taking the store and making it available to every single component so now every single component every single container is going to have access to all of our applications data pretty sweet huh so there we go that's all there is to it again a provider it's like two lines of code how easy is that to understand and set up so still a little ways to go before we actually start displaying our users in here but i mean hey we are getting there this redux stuff it really isn't hard as you probably thought it was so for now thank you guys for watching um also if you want to donate to my patreon um i'm saving up to buy my grandma a george foreman grill so <laughs> Oh, so many lies. All right. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you next time.